This video will tell you exactly what you need to know for your WJEC exam regarding a balanced diet and the fate of fats, carbohydrates and proteins in our bodies. Carbohydrates like starch are broken down into soluble sugars like glucose. Glucose will either be used immediately for aerobic respiration where the chemical energy stored in glucose is released. If the body has excess glucose, then it will be stored in the form of glycogen in mainly our liver and muscle cells. Glycogen can be converted back to glucose when the body demands more energy. Proteins when digested to amino acids are used to build new proteins in our own bodies. For example, bodybuilders eat a lot of proteins so they have enough amino acids to build their own muscular protein. Fats are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol, and our bodies use them mainly as an energy source. Fat is high in calories, meaning there is a lot of stored chemical energy available for our bodies to release. Depending on age and activity levels, dietary requirements will vary from individual to individual. In general, more active and younger individuals have a higher resting metabolism, meaning they burn more calories at rest. As you get older, the number of calories you need just at rest drops, and this is also the case if you have a very sedentary lifestyle. So, working out and exercising and building muscle can increase the amount of calories you need just to maintain normal bodily functions. You also need to know why we need the following vitamins and minerals. Iron is needed for the production of haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is found in your red blood cells, and it is this iron-containing molecule that allows your red blood cells to carry oxygen. Vitamin C is needed to help maintain healthy tissues in our bodies. Fibre is needed to add bulk to the digestive system. Effectively, it helps mm -hmm. you to pass waste. Finally, water is an essential part to many of the body's functions and processes. Now to the health problems associated with a poor diet. If we eat too much sugar, this can lead to the following conditions. Type 2 diabetes, obesity and tooth decay. The reason excess sugar can lead to obesity is that the extra calories from sugar can be eventually stored as fat. Remember, if you don't exercise often, then you don't use as much energy, so any sugar not used can end up as fat. Obesity can lead to heart disease and circulatory disease. Effectively, fat and cholesterol can block your blood vessels if there is too much in your diet. Excess salt, specifically sodium in your diet, can lead to high blood pressure. A combination of high blood pressure and blocked arteries increases the risk of blood clots forming in your vessels, which can cause a stroke or a heart attack. In the next lesson, we will look at the specified practical on investigating the energy contents in food.